Hi, I'm Karen from CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group Cricut Help Desk Unofficial. I wanted to make this video to kind of show you a little tour of my craft space and the things I do to keep things easy and accessible. For instance, here you see all of my cutting mats. I use command hooks to keep them up on the wall. There's several mats on each hook and they're just very easy to grab the ones I need. I have them separated the way I like to use them. You can also see that I have vinyl storage here on the wall. With this, you can fit several rolls. There's two layers. I have these in a few places around the room. Very handy, it's from Ikea. When I get over here, I also have a small little um, compartment here on the wall that I keep a squeegee nearby my Cricut, as well as a pair of scissors couple of pens and some post-it notes. It's just really handy to have these easily accessible but out of the way. Speaking of things accessible and out of the way are my pens. You can see all my pens are on the wall. I have them up here using Velcro. I've put a piece of Velcro around each pen and then there's a strip along the wall where they can sit and be ready to use at any time but totally out of the way. I have a light under my shelf that's easy to turn on if I need more lighting under the cabinet. It's just a touch and it turns it on with a few different brightnesses and back off. As I move to my Cricut, I have what is my favorite little hidden jewel of my foil ball. I use this when I'm getting ready to cut something. I pull the blade out of the Cricut. I really keep this right in here and just stab it to make sure that the blade stays clean, gets any extra residue from my adhesives off or any pieces that may be stuck. As I move through the room, I come over to my presses. By my presses, I have lots of handy gadgets. I have my lint roller, my cooling block. I've hung several different types of rulers. I have a t-shirt roller here where it dips down at the center for the collar. My centering ruler, which has a zero in the center and goes out counting in each direction. And then I have a larger ruler hanging that's actually three inches wide. And I got that specifically to make sure I do that three inch drop on the collar. I also have a light here that is on a hinge and I can use that if I need to get some extra light on my press to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. Let's head over to more vinyl storage. All right, over on the other side of the room here, you can see above my head is a large paper roll. That's my butcher paper for when I do sublimation. I also have all my vinyl storage on this side of the room as well. So here is my Ikea unit. This was my first large unit where we um, attach shelving to hold our flat vinyl pieces. So I do have them in color order, very easily accessible, as well as a door on the bottom for some additional storage. I have a second unit. That unit, my husband, Christopher, built. Um, it also has drawers that we created for it um, and really serves a lot of the same purpose. Uh, I use it for my silvers, my golds, my browns, my neutrals, and some of my specialty black and white pieces. On top of the unit, I do have a Lazy Susan with several rolls of vinyl, accessible and easy to access. We also started getting in some larger rolls of vinyl that no longer fit onto these. That's when we went for the pegboard. We do have a, a large three section pegboard up right now. It has rolls starting from about three, four inches all the way up to the big boys at the top that are 20 inches long. So they're all accessible, very sturdy piece, gets them up off the floor, out of the way. It was empty wall space, so I'm very happy to have it. In this room, we do also have a bookcase with lots of paper storage, and we have our crafting table right in the center where both myself and Christopher are able to sit and craft with our laptops doing our designs. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy crafting!